Emirates is the largest airline and one of the two flag carriers of the United Arab Emirates. Based in Dubai, the airline was a subsidiary of the Emirates Group, which is owned by the government of Dubai's investment corporation, Dubai. It is also the largest airline in the Middle East, operating over 3,600 flights per week from its hub at Terminal 3 of Dubai International Airport before the COVID-19 pandemic. It operates to more than 150 cities in 80 countries across six continents through its fleet of nearly 300 aircraft. This is the Emirates check-in counter. Well, uh, it has 67 lanes or at a time when the flight is boarding. And uh, this is the Toronto International Airport. Well, uh, the Toronto International Airport uh, has a huge distance to be covered when you have to board a flight. As such, uh, we had to walk a uh, few uh, meters uh, with the help of uh, the escalator and uh, a walk later. And there you see the Tim Hortons uh, outlet. Uh, Tim Hortons is quite famous uh, within all over Canada. And it has uh, quite a lot of uh, franchisees uh, that are located uh, spanning from the east to the west of Canada. Uh, we did uh, even speak about the Emirates. Uh, Emirates has uh, operated over 3,000 flights every week across its network of over 140 destinations in over 70 countries. Prior to the pandemic, uh, Emirates' global network spanned 157 destinations in 83 countries. Emirates has also collaborated with the other airlines but is not a member of any of the three global airline alliances. One World, Sky Team or Star Alliance. While we were going, while we were boarding the aircraft, uh, we did come across some of the uh, some of the restaurants that are located in the lower section. Um, and uh, there you see some of the restaurants and uh, we have a coach outlet. And uh, apart from that, uh, or you'll find the Starbucks uh, location. You'll find the Starbucks cafe. You'll find it in Hortons cafe. Uh, this is pawn shop. So basically, bowls and tickets. Um, and uh, here you'll find the Rock Squeeze. That is another uh, beer and bar location uh, within the uh, within the. Uh, airport terminals and this is the waiting lounge before boarding the aircraft Emirates uh, ideally identifies uh, all of its passengers based on the uh, class uh, if you have an economic class ticket uh, you are booted at a later stage the business class and the first class passengers are uh, you know uh, are allowed to board prior to the economy class of passengers uh, yeah, well uh, it's basically the rule that is followed by emirates uh, considering the number of passengers that are located for an aircraft uh, emirates prefers uh, boarding uh, the first class and the business class passengers first and give them a first preference as compared to the economy class passengers as such, the economy class passengers have to wait a while uh, while they are boarding the aircraft. And with that, uh, we happened to board the aircraft and this was some of the cleaning. Uh, Emirates also keeps in mind some of the sanitization process uh, when it happens uh, to, you know, whenever a flight happens to take off. Um, it happens to undergo some, some of the sanitization and cleansing process. Um, that is followed by the Emirates uh, group uh, before and uh, before a flight takes off to a far out destination. So there you see uh, the wings are being cleaned, and uh, they want to ensure that uh, there is no, you know, like uh, there shouldn't be any any, uh, any dust particles or any 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 other thing that could you know uh, affect the aircraft 
or uh, that could uh, you know um, that could be harmful to the passengers as well and that is the reason uh, the Emirates uh, happens to cl clean the aircraft they, they happen to clean the aircraft wings before uh, before the flight happens to take off uh, to another international destination and that is how you see uh, it is uh, going through a rigorous cleaning process uh, that is being done by the uh, Emirates team. Well, uh, the Emirates uh, has the premium economic class and the economic class. The Emirates economic class offers a 79.81 cm long uh, seat pitch on Airbus aircraft and 6 cm in on Boeing aircraft. The standard seat width, except on the Boeing 777 flight fleet, Emirates has 10 seats per row on its Boeing 777 fleet. The seat features adjustable headrests. A 3000 channel ICE in flight entertainment system and an in seat laptop power outlets on newer aircraft and laptop recharging facilities and galleries in older aircraft. There is additional recline on E380 economy class seats as well. And uh, there you see uh, the Emirates economy class. Uh, well, passengers are pretty much happy with the uh, with the kind of uh, the seat that uh, Emirates has to offer well the key ring on Emirates flights uh, from Dubai International is provided by, by the Emirates flight key ring which operates one of the largest airline key ring facilities in the world there you see that that is a that is a meal that was given uh, by an Emirates cabin crew so you if you take a look, there's a dessert, there's some cheese, some butter, and uh, you find some rice and a fried piece of chicken, uh, along with some crackers and yogurt and some water to drink, along with an orange juice. So uh, that's how a good meal uh, is offered by Emirates uh, crew when you're traveling on Emirates economy class and uh, Emirates also happens to provide an in-flight entertainment system Emirates become, became one of the first group of airlines in the world to introduce a personal entertainment system on a commercial aircraft in 1992 all three classes feature a personal in-flight entertainment system on Emirates aircraft And uh, there you see the flight had has taken off and it's an amazing view if you happen to fly with Emirates. Uh, Emirates happens to provide you with all the in-flight entertainment system, uh, amazing meal or uh, even for an economic class ticket. The seats are pretty comfortable uh, and that is one of the reasons why any of the passengers and most of the passengers are happy when they are traveling with Emirates. Emirates also offers special meals options in all classes based on age, dietary restrictions and preference and religious observance. Special meals must be ordered in advance at least 24 hours before the flight departure time. All meals, however, are prepared according to the halal dietary guidelines. shops uh, offers passengers a uh, uh, pretty good window in order to shop for their personal needs uh, and uh, passengers often do like it when they happen to visit the Dubai duty free shops because uh, you get to see all the international brands uh, under one roof uh, you'll find uh, brands uh, in, in terms of bags you'll find uh, something known as coach uh, you'll find Prada you'll find uh, uh, other luxurious brands you'll even find some of the perfumes shops uh, for you know like uh, if you happen to buy any of the perfumes like Chanel or uh, Root or uh, any other brand in terms of perfumes 
you will find uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, secrets uh, you will find there you see that's a shop for watches and you will find uh, Swatch that's a coach outlet and um, while we were going we even came across quite a lot of uh, secret brands and this is uh, one of the brands Marlboro and you will find Davidoff and uh, you will find uh, various other brands cigarettes to the sibling brands um, so there you see that's Winston Winston that is one of those cigarette brands as well and then uh, here you will find something known as looks like uh, the uh, looks like you know, e-cigarettes so quite a lot of variety and uh, you'll find quite a lot of uh, uh, international brands uh, all under one roof so that is an LM brand LM separate brand and that's Marlboro uh, you'll even find Davidoff so uh, Marlboro is you'll get fried 400 a pack of 400 separates so uh, these are all international brands and uh, all are offered in the Dubai duty free shops and that is one of the reasons passengers uh, prefer to once they happen to land over here in Dubai and they, they can do some shopping and they can uh, spend some you know really good time you know going through all these shops and if they happen to if they are interested in buying something they can even go ahead and buy it it's a gold leaf cigarette brand and uh, so here this is a hard rock cafe hard rock cafe is um, is it's one of the restaurant that has got uh, like uh, outlets uh, all over the world you know if you see it's got a branch in rome dallas paris so uh, hard rock cafe it's quite famous uh, all over the world in fact that's a famous brand, Hard Rock Cafe, in terms of a restaurant and a bar as well. So it's got a branch in Rome, Berlin, Boston, Sydney. Hard Rock Cafe, it's pretty famous you know, all across you know, the entire world. And people love to you know, go to Hard Rock Cafe outlet. Maybe if they happen to buy some drinks or if they happen to eat something. Hard Rock Cafe, it rocks. And uh, this is, you'll find some clothing brands as well, such as Boss. And uh, that's a duty free tobacco shop. And uh, apart from that, you'll find uh, various other perfume brands as well, you know, like Chanel, then Fruit, uh, and like quite a lot of brands and these are all international brands that are there this is a Christian Dior Paris Christian Dior Paris this is perfume looks like perfume and there you see perfume cosmetics In Dubai duty free shops you will definitely have a wonderful time when you happen to go through these there you see this is a perfume perfume shop and you'll find Armani Chanel and uh, while we were going through some of these DDT shops we did come across quite a lot of restaurants cafes DDT shops that's a juicery You definitely would like to spend some time when you happen to land at the Dubai International Airport. It gives you that international feeling, you know. And with that, uh, we happen to, we did spend some time while we were transiting through Dubai. And then a flight uh, did take off from Dubai to Mumbai. And uh, once again, it was Emirates, uh, as mentioned earlier. Emirates, so uh, the economic class tickets, the economic class, you know, is pretty, pretty decent. It offers quite a lot of, you know, 
good things that the passengers happen to like. And that's the flight it's about to take off. And here it goes. So Dubai view uh, while the flight did take off from Dubai. Dubai looks amazing you know with all the lights and um, Dubai has really uh, modified in terms of you know in terms of you know like uh, the international look that it's got. Dubai is definitely a place to visit if you happen to visit Dubai. Dubai is really great. And uh, finally we reached Mumbai and there you see that's a Mumbai, Mumbai aerial view. Mumbai also uh, has got, it's slowly developing, it's taking some time but definitely Mumbai uh, too has an international you know uh, uh, look and uh, it's slowly developing and uh, definitely Mumbai will, will you know people happen to you know, you know people like to visit Mumbai because it's a famous place not only because of its look or anything as such uh, Mumbai has been famous for uh, quite a lot of heritage sites such as uh, the gateway of India uh, the other uh, you know British era uh, buildings and uh, and in terms of uh, in terms of uh, other things as well Mumbai is a great place to visit all in all and uh, finally we reached Mumbai and uh, there you see uh, we were just uh, flight was like just like going through Mumbai before landing at the Mumbai International Airport uh, there you see if you see you know, quite a lot of houses Mumbai is like it's uh, space is quite less but definitely Mumbai has got its own place you know in terms of uh, in terms of people in, in terms of the population in terms of everything Mumbai is definitely uh, it reaches out to a large number of people and people definitely like to visit Mumbai ensures uh, that uh, you know it happens to provide her with uh, an amazing meal uh, pretty comfortable seats uh, the overall aircraft is pretty cleaned um, and it's um, the toiletries and the other uh, seats and everything is well maintained and that is one of the reasons people prefer to uh, fly with Emirates rather than any other aircraft or airline to be precise uh, yes, and uh, that's how we landed in Mumbai and uh, we had an amazing trip uh, while we were traveling from Toronto to Mumbai uh, via Dubai and uh, I hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel and uh, please mention your views uh, and comments hope to see you too soon thank you